Hi, I'm Belle Powley. Hi, I'm Emma Appleton. And we're here with Netta Porte to play first time, for the first time. <laughs> First time you met Emma, that's me. I remember very well. It was the chemistry reads of everything I know about love, and you actually complimented me on my on my loafers. You're proud of loafers? <laughs> yeah, I was basically shopping whilst checking out your outfit. We also had to do just improvised dancing to Destiny's oh Child. God. Do you remember that? You like, did a lot of that. Did I? And I think I, I did a lot the of arms like. Out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we vibed. <laughs> First time you understood what love is? Maybe the first proper time was when my brother was born. <gasps> because that's like a love you haven't felt before and it's a feeling that I hadn't felt before. But then also the first time I went to a wedding of people I, I really, really cared about. When you see it, you know it. Aww. Like that, that's love. First time you understood what love is? It's a soppy answer. When I met my fiance. <laughs> you know, I met him and I was like, oh, this is what love is. Uh, have you seen him? Yeah. <laughs> First time you fell in love with acting? It would have been when I filmed Dreamlands in Margate and it was like 5am in a car park and I had kind of like a, a revelation of like, this is the best thing in the world. <laughs> I have to keep doing this. I thought you were going to say it's when you worked with me. And the second time was when I worked <laughs> with Belle Powley. <laughs> And I fell in love all over again. First time you fell in love with acting. <laughs> in my year six leaving play, we put on um, Shrek, the musical. All the other girls in the class auditioned to play Princess Fiona. And I thought, no, that's not for me. I'm gonna play Donkey. <laughs> Wonderful experience. And that's when I decided there and then, I'm gonna be an actor. First time you had your heart broken. Around 14, he was called Jake. And it was the first time someone broke up with me and I couldn't listen to certain bands. Like I couldn't listen to Muse for ages without crying. Jake, if you're out there. I went to his wedding last mm -hmm. week, he's all good. <laughs> first time you learned a hard lesson. I learned that brandy, Guinness and wine doesn't mix. <laughs> what about you? I mean, you basically <laughs> have answered for me because <laughs> mine just involves a bottle of Malibu. Pace yourself, kids. Yeah. <laughs> what is the first time you recognise the power of friendship? <sighs> Going to school, I used to be really, really anxious. We'd turn up like in absolute tears and I remember one day, my group of friends, who I'm still friends with now, came down to a reception to get me and kind of like, Aww. get me into school. They were like, it's all right, Em, you're with us. That's and that, I was like, oh my God, you guys are amazing. And I'm still friends with them today. Strong bond. When did you first recognize the power of friendship? My close knit group of girlfriends are from when I was really young. Even if I haven't seen these girls for like months and months and months, every time I come back and we hang out, it feels like home. I think it's crazy when I start working going away a lot and I realise like the power of actually like, you know, your girls. Good, good work. <laughs> Let's go.